using these facilitated face-to-face courses, this blended course, yes. experiencing the Turing learning approach. Mm-hmm. We would like to know uh, what was the biggest surprise you, you got from the course so far? All right. When... When I read the course outline, I'm expecting a traditional, you know, a traditional kind of training wherein there's a, a classroom type or probably a U-shaped type of an, uh, classroom arrangement. But when I got here, it's totally different. The learning uh, environment is different, not using the conventional way of doing it, but rather the innovative way of doing it also. And aside from that, uh, the learning methods that we that I've learned, that what I've learned, are pretty great. You know, they're they're really new to me. This course was the perfect combination of information, techniques, practical experiences, which make us, made us experience directly different ways of learning. And I would say from the very beginning, when we first entered into the classroom, the old setting was so special with such a combination of creativity, messages, cru- crucial things for us as trainers, that I would say it was all a surprise from when we entered to the very last day today. I'm sure that what we have learned from here, uh, it will help us to improve the way we provide training. And because nowadays training is becoming more and more important in this ever-changing world. The pace at which change is going on, if we don't train our people, we won't be able to build capacity for the tomorrow to meet the demand and the needs. And what will you change in your daily work after this course? Um, the- the thing I learned most and I think that will, is going to help me is the way I communicate and the way I listen. Because I know communication goes a great way in, facil- goes a great way in facilitating. And if you communicate well, then you'll help to change the whole situation. If you listen well, you'll help to change the whole situation. Definitely one thing is, the first thing will be the way we organize the training. We'll move from the uh, conventional uh, lecture type of training to where we get people uh, involved in more activity-based training. So they learn by doing. After the presentation I got, uh, the presentation a while ago, what would I learn? I introduce a lot more methodologies, particularly the round robin is very good. The open space that we've done uh, yesterday, that was pretty exciting for me. And then um, probably the, the cognitive map. You know, I, I tend to do away with using the flip chart, but rather focusing on PowerPoint. But that is uh, one way of teaching also. Oh, that's a good question. Quite a lot, unfortunately. I think there is a lot of work to do now and to apply all the new techniques we learned. And I would say that what was most interesting is, on one hand, understanding how to manage large groups, small groups and individuals and try to see different moments and how to use different techniques, a combination of techniques according to the shape, to the number of people participating, their different personalities. So paying more attention, let's say, to the learners than to the contents. This is the major achievement. Can you say one word to describe uh, the course? Uh, this course is something uh, something that should be done. That's, so any trainer has to go through it. Wow. One word is difficult. <laughs> Two words. Then. Yes, I would say perfectly learners centered. It's full with humor and it's very interesting. Excellent. I'll say it's wonderful. This is a very good training opportunity. Anything you would say uh, to a future candidate, to a future participants of this course? Um, the only thing I'll say to them is that they should come empty because if they come full, they'll not receive. But if you're completely empty, then you'll definitely receive because the course is packed full. It has a lot of things in it. But if you you think you know, then don't come. Come empty and you'll be full by the time you leave.